Hi friends and welcome back to my kitchen. Um, I'm Rachel from Healing Home and around here we talk a lot about healthy and healing recipes that are trim healthy momo and sometimes keto friendly. Um, we also talk about a little about homesteading and our journey on our 40, 40, 40 acres, excuse me there. And we also talk briefly about motherhood and faith and what I'm learning as a mom and hopefully inspire you on your own faith journey. And today we are gonna be making homemade vanilla extract and we're gonna be answering the question, can you reuse vanilla beans? Before we get going on today's recipe though, let's do a little chit chat. I do these chit chats just as a fun way of updating you on our lives here on our homestead and hopefully inspiring you to add a little bit of homestead or simple living into your life if you're not already doing so. Um, and also, I always want to know what's going on in your guys' life, so don't hesitate to reach out and tell me or ask questions because I would love to hear them. Be sure to hit that subscribe button too since we're at it. So around here we've been doing all things harvest, which includes harvesting our pumpkin patch and setting up a little pumpkin stand down on the side of our road, which really was a lot of fun. And our kids just had a blast being a part of it. There was even a point in time where my husband put them up in the skid steer, uh, in the skid steer bucket and it hoisted them up in the air. I happened to not be around at that point in time. And he sent me that picture while I was at an appointment and oh my goodness, I almost choked seeing my kids way up in a skid steer bucket. But the kids were having fun, he did it completely safe and it was just, it was just a lot of family fun to do that pumpkin patch. We've done a lot of other things too, like harvesting our garden, um, taking those pumpkins and laying them flat to dry them out for pumpkin seeds for planting next year. Um, I've also been really um, inspired to make lots of herbal tinctures this year, which is something I've never done. I've had so much fun with this. I just posted on Instagram the other day a reel about um, doing a sage tincture and it has just, it's just been such an easy way of preserving my herbs. If you have never done a tincture before or preserved your herbs, I highly recommend that you try a few of those recipes and I'll link them below. Let's get going on today's recipe. So why would you make vanilla extract? Why can't you just buy it from the store? You can and there's a lot of companies that make really high quality vanilla extract. But here's the reason why I'm making it from home. It's just another skill to add to my skill set that makes our living here more sustainable. Um, but perhaps even more important is that a lot of times the really cheap, inexpensive vanilla that you get at the grocery store is not real vanilla. It's just a, um, a chemically flavored liquid that does add a little bit to your baking, but it's just really not um, true vanilla with actual vanilla beans and the reason why I make it is because I'm gonna be using real vanilla beans with just a couple other ingredients and it's gonna make delicious very potent and very powerful vanilla extract and it tastes so much better in cooking in my opinion so let's talk about the ingredients and materials that you're gonna need if you want to make your own vanilla extract you really only need two ingredients. Might sound too good to be true, but it's true. You're gonna first need vanilla beans. Now this is a brand new van vanilla bean that has not been cut open. And yes, I will answer the question that I posed at the beginning about whether or not you can use uh, used vanilla beans. Um, and you're also going to need some type of alcohol. I typically use vodka, you also can use bourbon, brandy, or rum. My vodka needs to be at least 80 proof. And I happen to have mine right here that we're gonna use. Um, and that's it. It's all you really need is the alcohol, at least 80 proof, and your vanilla beans. Now let's get to the question of whether or not you can use used vanilla beans in your vanilla extract. I just finished, um, brewing, for lack of a better term, um, a previous vanilla extract, and I'm going to show it to you in a second. And so it was done, I put it in the container, put a cap on it, I can use it for all my baking needs now. And I wondered, can I reuse the vanilla beans? And the answer is yes. 
Vanilla beans are very potent and they often can be used more than once. Um, some people say two times, some people say as many as six times. I'm inclined to say that two times is probably as much as I'm gonna use it. One rule of thumb is that if you smell your vanilla beans and they still smell like a, a, a really strong vanilla flavor in them, they're probably re reusable and also if you've already cut them open, you can see the beans inside. So if, if you're not seeing any residue or anything inside of your vanilla bean, it probably means that it is it, it has been used enough um, too many times and it's time to retire it. So the answer is yes, you can reuse the vanilla beans and that is what I'm gonna do today. This one is brand new, so I'm kind of combining things and using one brand new one and then some old ones as well. What I'm gonna do in a few seconds is I'm gonna cut this one open and put all of them in to my vanilla extract jar. And then I have kind of a haphazard cap that I've made from a, a wine, a, um, I wanna call it a wine glass, but it's not a wine bottle. Um, and I just put this on here to let it ferment um, and to, not ferment, excuse me, to let it saturate um, for at least two months, if not longer. Some people say six months. The last one that I did, I did do for six months, and I really do think that if you can do it longer, there are some um, benefits to doing it for as long as you can. Let it sit for as long as you can. At least for the first two weeks, um, you're going to want to shake it every single day and just get all of the um, vanilla beans fully saturated into the liquid. And just let it sit for at least two months and up to six months if would like. So let's get going. I'm going to make my vanilla extract and you guys can watch. Before we get going, I forgot to show you guys the final product. This is my vanilla that had been sitting. I want to call it fermenting, but it truly isn't fermenting. We just do so much fermenting around here. I just automatically want to say fermenting, but it had been sitting um, for six months and as you can see this does not look like vodka anymore it looks like vanilla so this is what your vanilla will look like once you are done um, and it smells just amazing I've used it in baking already you can you can taste it so much better than store-bought seriously it smells it smells like just pure vanilla it's wonderful so there you go that's what it's gonna look like so your clear liquid, this is vodka, will eventually look like your vanilla extract. There you guys go. There's the very simple and easy way of making vanilla extract. This is what it'll turn out like. And this is what I made today. If you like this video and you would be interested in hearing and seeing more healthy and healing recipes that are sometimes keto friendly and always trim healthy mama friendly, along with our life here on our homestead and a little bit of sprinkling of faith and motherhood content in the mix, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I can't wait to see you in the next video.